Hey everyone, this is Andrew Town. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the MMO Star Wars The Old Republic on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on macOS Monterey on the M1 Max chip, running this on a MacBook Pro 16 inch. So the very first thing I'm going to do is to download Crossover. In order to install Crossover, you can follow this tutorial, which I'll leave a link to in the description. What you need to do to actually get Crossover is to click the link at the top of the description of this video or the description of the tutorial. Here we're going to click Code Weavers and we'll be taken to the Code Weavers website. Then we're going to scroll down to here. Now, if you do decide to buy, you can click the Buy Now button. And I do recommend that you buy the Crossover Plus version. If you use the code Apple Gaming Wiki, you'll receive a 25% discount. However, you can also trial the software for free for two weeks. So you can also click the Try Now button. If you do, all you need to do is to enter your name and email address, and then you can download the trial. So here we're going to save the crossover file and press OK. Then when we go to Finder under Downloads, we're going to double click on the crossover zip that's just downloaded. And then what we can do is to drag and drop crossover into the Applications folder and then let go. So once Crossover is installed in an Applications folder, we're going to double click on it. And now we have Crossover open. So I've actually pre-configured this with lots of what I've called bottles already. You don't have to worry about this. What we're going to do is to go ahead and create a new bottle. So here I'm going to select Windows 10 64-bit and we're going to call this SWTOR, press Create. So once that bottle is created, we'll have it in our bottle collection here. If you can't toggle that, that's the button to toggle it. And next we're going to download the installer. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for Star Wars The Old Republic Game Downloader. I want to click the Download Now button here. And this is going to download the installer client. So our SWTOR setup.exe has downloaded. That's the Windows installer. So the next thing we want to do as well, just to improve legibility, is to install fonts. So this might be different depending on your localization. For example, if you're using the German version of Crossover, you want to type in whatever the German word for core fonts is and then press continue. Then we want to make sure that we select our Star Wars The Old Republic bottle, click continue and press install. And just basically press yes every single time that something pops up until this finishes. So now that's complete, we're going to press done. So now what we're going to do is to double click on run command and we're going to run the installer that we just downloaded. So here we're going to go to our downloads folder and we want to find this SWTOR setup.exe. So we're going to run the Windows setup exe through crossover through this bottle. So here we're going to press open and then run. So basically we're just going to go through the standard installer, just pressing OK and next until we get to the final stage. So we're going to let this install in its default location. Click next, click finish. So this is given error, that's fine. We're going to close this now. What we want to do is to double click on Star Wars The Old Republic to open the launcher. So here we can see the full Windows launcher. While you're running this, this might actually update. So be prepared for this to close and launch a couple of times if necessary. Here we're going to launch it again. So this went through a process of opening and closing about five or six times. However, that's nothing to worry about. We're just going to go ahead and then enter our Star Wars The Old Republic display name and password. So if you don't already have one of these already, you need to go and create one on the website. You can click this play free now. However, I'm assuming you already have an account, so just go ahead and enter your username and password. Accept the terms and agreements. Scroll down, accept and accept. And now we're going to press play. So this is going to go through the process of downloading the latest version of the software. This might take a little bit of time, so just let that run for the time being. This will depend on the speed of your internet connection, so let that run. So once the download has finished, we can go ahead and press the play button here. So we're now in the game. What I'm going to do is to tweak my graphics settings. What I've done is I've tweaked the resolution settings down to 1080p. What you can also do is change the refresh rate to 120. So you can see on the bottom left hand side of the screen, we've got the frame rate here. So we're at kind of low settings. We're running at 100, 120 FPS. Let's get into a little bit of combat and see what happens. See the frame rate is still around 100 FPS, which is pretty good. What I'm going to do now is just tweak these settings a little bit so it looks a bit nicer. Let's put it at medium and press OK. Well, for some reason, there's a lot more kind of lighting. It <laughs> looks like it's nighttime now, but anyway, we're getting around 80 FPS here. Obviously, this is not really indicative of actual end game frame rates, but it's not too bad. It's better than the parallels version of this game by far. And it's uh, relatively easy to actually install. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.